everyone. It's been a while again. So I'm going to start doing a couple of things. Comparing fragrances and combining fragrances. Today's video is a comparison between Terry Mugler Cologne and Creed Original Vetiver. So let's start off by just talking a little bit about each one. So let's start with Creed. Now, of course, we're going to be smelling them, or at least I am. Sorry about that. But uh, if you have your own copies, you're welcome to follow along. According to Fragrantica, it is woody, citrus, aromatic, fresh, spicy, green, and earthy. The write-up on Fragrantica says, uh, original vetiver is Creed's modern take on the classic vetiver fragrance. Vetiver fragrances traditionally derive their scent from the root of the plant. Original vetiver infuses vetiver leaves into the blend for a fresh and original effect. The unisex fragrance pairs vetiver with Mediterranean citrus and spice for a warm, sensual, and sophisticated aroma. The top notes consist of ginger, mandarin, and bergamot. Middle notes incorporate vetiver from Haiti, Mysore sandalwood, and Florentine iris. The base notes include musk and ambergris. Original vetiver was launched in 2004 um, and created by Oliver Creed and Irwin Creed. So let's go over to the interior Mugler. Cologne. The notes are citrus, white floral, aromatic, musky, and green. In creating Mugler Cologne, Terry Mugler tried to copy the scent of an ordinary soap he bought from Morocco, which he liked very much. Again, this is information posted on Fragrantica.com. The fragrance was created by Alberto Morelas in 2001. The composition starts off with sharp and clear green and citrus notes followed by a soapy accord. Hence, this fragrance is an extremely fresh scent of cleanliness. The notes are bergamot, neroli, and pedigrane. There is a mysterious S note at the heart, a molecule kept in secret. The base is formed of white musk. The question that's been out there for a while is whether these two are alike and how much are they alike? Um, there's a couple ways to, to think of that. One is, do they smell alike? Two, do they cost alike? Three, are they chemically alike? And that's a question I can't answer for you today because I just do not have the chemical analysis for these, but with today's technology, it certainly can be found out. Um, all you got to do is run these through a GS GCMS and uh, get a pretty clear picture. So, and so, um, what is the difference between these two in terms of aroma? Let's first look at the top notes. Both fragrances are citrus in the top. Um, Creed, at least on Fragrantica, lists ginger in the top. Um, so we see mandarin orange and bergamot as citrus notes in Creed and in the Mugler we see neroli, bergamot, pedigree. All of those have kind of an orange vibe. In the middle notes we have iris, Haitian vetiver, and sandalwood. Now those are all three not in the Mugler cologne. So, and then in the middle of uh, Mugler is African orange flower, so, so some more orangey notes. And in the base of both is musk, but Creed has ambergris. So basically what we see here is they're, they're similar. However, the Creed has vetiver, sandalwood, and ambergris. And in my opinion, 
Creed is much more of a grassy, kind of woody fragrance. This one is very soapy, very soapy. Um, in, and in my opinion and experience, you can't go wrong with either one. But before we smell them and kind of compare them, well, no, we will compare them. Let's take a look at the price difference. And this really isn't the purpose of this video, but I'd like to make a point. Of course, this will vary by retailer, but at Macy's right now, uh, a 3.4 ounce or 100.55 milliliter bottle of uh, Mugler is $60. That's 59 cents per milliliter. For the Creed, I took a look at Neiman Marcus. Certainly there is some other places to buy this from, including Creed themselves. But uh, Neiman Marcus um, for a 30 mil, or one ounce, $195. That's $6.50 a mil, or you can get a larger size, 75 mil, for $325. That's $4.33 per mil. Or if you really want to be adventurous and you can afford it, $515 for 250 mil of Creed Original, $2.06 per mil. So even if you buy the largest size of the Vetiver, you're still paying more per mil than you would for Mugler Cologne. Is it worth it? Sure. Um, nothing beats Creed. It's an elegant, uh, wonderful fragrance. And to me, it's worth every penny if, if you can afford it. Uh, this is a much more sporty, clean, soapy fragrance. Um, as you can see, I've used m more than half of this bottle, and I've used most of it at the gym, which I need to be going to more. So, and, uh, now, I have had, over the years, uh, probably a couple of bottles of no have I ever owned no I have not I have not owned a bottle of um, Creed original Gvetterer however I really should because it's a beautiful fragrance now one way to evaluate two different fragrances that smell similar is olfactory burnout now careful not old factory burnout. There, there's plenty of old, old burned out factories, but you know, uh, you know, I mean, maybe that if you're creating fragrances, maybe you want this, the scent of an old burned out factory. Could come in useful. Um, maybe we should talk about that. But anyway, so um, old factory burnout. So now, if you, if your nose and your brain are get used to um, certain chemicals long enough, uh, you will be start to be desensitized to them. So, smelling these alternate alternating one than the other, your brain will become desensitized to what is similar or the same in both, and you'll be able to detect what's different. So we're gonna start. Let's start with the Creed. Before we smell, I wanna make a point. Creed Original Gretiver was launched in 2004. The Mugler Cologne was launched in 2001. However, so that begs the question, did Terry Mugler inspire the Creed Cologne? Hmm. Well, if that's the case, then who, what soap inspired uh, Terry Mugler's uh, creation? Perhaps the soap was maybe a, a Creed soap. I don't know. If I don't know if there is, a, there is. But here's here's the point. Before Creed original battery, there was an original launched in 1948, and that was Creed. Vetiver. So, um, I don't even know if you could get the original now. I have not looked. 
and um, that's a pretty old date, 1948. However, that would be something to investigate. Anyway, so for a Grantica description of the original, Vetiver was a favorite of one of America's leading political families. And I don't know who that family was, but um, it would be interesting to find out. Uh, it appeared in, US Af in the U.S. after World War II when American soldiers returned home with a newfound taste for European style. Uh, it was launched in 1948. The nose behind it is Henry Creed, fourth generation. And the top notes are citrus and bergamot, middle note ginger, bass notes, vetiver, cedarwood, and ambergris. It's not as complex as the newer version. So the newer version basically has more notes, has more in it, uh, except the one thing that is in the original that's not in the newer version is cedarwood. And so let's go ahead and spray, finally. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Is it soapy like this one? I wouldn't say that it's overly soapy. It has some of those characteristics. But it's it's kind of a there's a slight smoke smokiness. A little bit grassy. It's, it's quite sweet actually. And there's actually been some controversy over this one. People saying that well you don't wear it in summer, it's you know and but um I think you can wear this any time of year. Uh, it's a great it's great for warm weather, but you gotta probably go on the lighter side. Um, all right, so I smell all the notes. There's almost like a hay-like hay-like quality in there. Um, but so so that's the vetiver coming out. Mmm, smells so nice. Let's go over to the other one. Now I want to point out too that this bottle is unique, and that <laughs> unlike most fragrances. He allows you to get in there. The only problem with taking the cap off is just watch out. Don't dump it all over yourself. That will be too much. Don't knock it over because you'll be disappointed. Okay. So. <laughs> Let's just let that dry down a bit. And all right, go back to the vetiver. Wow. This, the vetiver, it, it is, it is also soapy, but it's much, it's much sweeter. It's, it's a lot, of, lot sweeter of a fragrance. By sweet, I mean, um, almost like a syrupy, syrupy quality. But that's a good thing. All right, let's go back to the other one. I'm getting a lot of bergamot. Oh no, no neroli. I'm picking up neroli. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It smells so nice. And that that is true. The um the Mugler has has neroli. And I do think that that's an asset of the, this this fragrance. It just it, it really gives it an extra edge that is really nice. Um All right, let's go back to the other one. Mm -hmm. The smoky vibe I'm getting here is is ambergris. Mm. Now I'll go back to the other one. I think I'm picking up some of the white musk. The white musk that's in this. And I'll smell them both together. They're both really nice fragrances. Um, if you're looking for a inexpensive alternative to the Creed, you certainly could pick this up and you're going to get something that has a little bit of a similarity. However, they are not the same. <laughs> they are definitely not the same. They're similar, 
but not the same. Uh, so I'm going to try something and I'm going to combine them both. I'm going to let that dry down a little. So I encourage you to to play around with fragrances like this and, and see what you think. Um, at the end of the day, these are chemicals. Natural oils and synthetic chemicals. Um, and in this case, there is also some dye in there mixed with alcohol and some preservative. That's and water. <laughs> uh, that's what cologne is. And so essentially, could you sell this for the same price as this one? Yeah, you probably could. It's, it's all about reputation and style and marketing and history and everything that goes along with, with that. So, um, I like them both together. I think it's quite interesting. I actually think that it enhances them both. In fact, I might actually split these up into a, th uh, 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 I might make a third bottle combining both into an uh, atomizer, maybe about this size, and see how I feel about it and what reactions I get out in public. I like combining. I like them combined. I really think that, um, uh, I think uh, Terry Mugler and uh, um, Creed should uh, get together and talk. <laughs> so that's it for this video. I want to know your thoughts. Um, what's your experience with both of these? Do you think they're the same? Have you, have you smelled them both together? And comment down below. Please subscribe. Please give a thumbs up. Please share this channel. There's going to be more videos coming up. The next one is going to be another comparison, and I have them over here out of view. You'll see them in the next video.